Hello, this is Abila David. In this tutorial, I'm going to show us how to split text using multiple text functions. Let's get started. Now, in part one, we saw how to split text using a filter XML function. So, in this video, we want to deal with the text family functions. So, let's see our data set. All our data is in column A, and we have the month, the year, customer type, all through to total and we have the iphone as the delimiter so we want to split all these in column a into multiple columns so let's start in b1 equal sign deploy the length function and the length returns the number of characters in a text string so press my tab key and i click on a1 close my parentheses and i hit f9 so we can see that 79 is the number of characters in cell a1 press my control z to go back after the equal sign, deploy the mid function, which returns the character from the middle of a text string, given the starting position and length. Press my tab key. Now, for the mid text argument, I'm going to deploy yet another text family function, which is the substitute. And substitute replaces existing text with a new text in the text string. So, press my tab key. So, for the substitute text argument, I'm going to click on A1 comma and the old text is our iphone so in double quotes we'll put the iphone in there comma and the new text i'm going to deploy the rept text function press my tab key and for the text argument of the repeat function do a single quote and a space and we close that up comma so the number of times will be dependent on the length of this same text in a1 so i close my lane close my repeat and we're going to skip the instance number of the substitute fourth argument and i close my substitute comma so the starting number will be this and we're going to multiply this that is the length open a bracket and deploy the columns function which returns the number of columns in an array or reference press my tab key and for that i'm going to do a single absolute set reference then a colon a okay so that select all the column a for us that is beautiful then i close that up and i do minus one and i close that and add one now when we evaluate these columns here it's going to deliver one that is beautiful okay now i'm going to press my comma to move to the number of characters that i want to extract and of course that will also depend on the length of this text in a1 so i close my length and i close my mid amazing so when i press f9 boom we have the month control z so let's just hit the enter and copy down and across and i hit control enter so we've been able to extract the month so let's copy the formula down using the odd field and let's drag across to column i oh can you see we have quite so many things not working no problem what i'm going to do is because i'm actually copying my formula to the right i need to lock the columns a so let's quickly do that this is a1 press my f4 key one two three so we have logged the column not the row and this is mixed cell reference so we come here f4 one two three the same thing f4 one two three and okay this is fine and finally f4 one two three and let's just wrap everything inside the trim function and the trim removes all spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words so press my tab key and we close the trim formula control enter and we copy the formula down and we copy the formula across absolutely magical can you see that so we've been able to extract all the months okay these are all the years the customer type the account manager the product category okay we have seen also the unit sold these are the price and these are the total this 
it's amazing so we've seen how to use text family functions to split text into several columns i believe you enjoyed this video if you do and you haven't subscribed to my channel please ensure you do that and of course you hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos thank you and bye for now